Hey there, YouTubers. Uh, back at it. Now, since we got all the chartreuse and, well, the green pumpkin with chartreuse tips, now we got to do the watermelon seed with chartreuse tips. And like the other day, I've got a little bit too much green pump, uh, watermelon seed in here, so I'm going to have to pour four, four, four solid ones before I can add the salt and the glitter and everything into it. So, let me uh, <clears throat> pour four of these here solid green. Just to uh, get them out of the way, so I had enough room to put the glitter and salt and everything in it. Of them. Now these I'm not I'm not worried about top oh yeah, boy, this one just messed up, so we'll keep pouring a little bit in it anyway. It won't be a full one. It doesn't matter though, since I'm not gonna keep these, I'll be cutting them up. Well I did that in tape, so oh well. Let that run off a little bit here. That should give me enough room. Okay, whoops, about to set it down on the table. That wouldn't have been good, huh? Would have got it would have got cooler then. All right, let's take this and set it down there. And yeah, that is a little bit warm, just in case you was wondering. Just a wee bit. <clears throat> Start the short cruise. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's good. I've already got it turned down. So okay, because if it just sets down too hot of a color. This is what happens. That still looks kind of chartreuse, but it's a little bit darker color now. So, it's not as pretty as it were to be. If I put that in a worm, you will know. With with the uh, green pumpkin or even watermelon seed. So, I've got eight that I, for myself. I'll throw them around. So, catch me some fishies on them, maybe. Hopefully. Alrighty. Go ahead and take these out now. I'm gonna have to do a couple more here since those two didn't fill up right. So, okay. There we go. Oh boy, I tell you, they sure didn't fill up right. Hey, that's what happens when you're not careful when you're doing them. See there? <laughs> that's why those would definitely would have gotten cut down if I wasn't even if I was gonna keep them. And there's the other two. They came out pretty good, but we're going to cut them all up anyway. And re them down. Put these all back together here. Like so. Alright, here. Alright. Let's throw it up right quick again. I'll go ahead and do all four of them again. Hopefully this time I'll get all of them done. That way I'll know I have plenty of room to get all the salt in that I want to get in it. and All the right amount of flake and everything. I'm going to have to wipe it off first. So. That's another reason I'm going to let some out too. For do these, I like it to... I mean, I can do them with it running down the edges, but I prefer if it don't, so... I don't always do this, but for these, these I'm going to. Alrighty. Come on, man. There we go. Okay. Now, then. That's all we're going to do with that. Or is it? Here we go. Okay, let me get, um, let's see. Let's get the black flake first. Again, this is the half teaspoon. There's one, two, and three of those. Okay. Alright, there's that. Now the sugar. Sugar, listen to me. Salt. <laughs> Why in the world I say sugar? It sure isn't sweet. 
Alrighty. One. Two. Three. And this is four. So I got a little ball hard spot right here, so I've got to crush it up. There we go. Alright. <clears throat> There's four of those. So if you count them, that means two tablespoons. Put salt in it. <clears throat> okay. Now, oh yeah, she's looking pretty. I just had a big wad of salt on the end of my spoon, though, when I picked it up, so that didn't look pretty. Yeah, that didn't look pretty at all. See that salt right there, that whiteness on it? That wasn't good. It's still there, so. Gotta get rid of it. It's pretty bad. I got a seven, almost a six and a half minute video, and I ain't even pulled any lures yet, for real. There we go. That's better. Okay. Now then, <clears throat> let's pull these out here right quick and do the chartreuse first again, of course. Okay. And there's four full ones that time. All four of them I pulled that time. But they are getting all getting cut down, so it doesn't matter. Unless I decide to keep them for myself. They look awful good. Even without the black flake in it, they look awful good. Oops. Okay. Put that there. Stir the chartreuse up again in here right quick. Yep. Alrighty. She's about ready to go now. Yeah, she's looking good. Okay. So, there's that. Whoa, I about spilt the chartreuse. That wouldn't have been good. That would have been a mess and a half. It sure would have. It might have gone into my coffee and in my lap. Wouldn't have wanted to need neither one of them. Well, that one filled up. Shouldn't have, but it did. Okay. It really didn't fill up. It probably touched on the sides and hit it with all, but okay. All right. Yeah, not the best. But after I cut them, they'll be looking just fine. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. I don't think you see that black flake. You can see on my spoon there that all that black flake on it. So doing good, doing good. Just trying to cool off a little bit so I can uh, pull it out. That isn't really the right way to do it, but <clears throat> how I did it. My dad's good for saying, don't do as I do, do as I say, so don't do that. <laughs> oh, wow, I actually did fill that one up. Never realized I did that, but I did, okay. So, there's that one. You know what I mean? I filled that little booger up. I didn't mean to, but that's okay. I'm going to get cut anyway. And these, where they are still awful warm, they are folding up on me some. But like I told you last night, we stick them in the mold where they're up and down. Where the when I place the other mold, it squishes them down. So it it works out good. I'll show you as soon as I pull it out with a shirt. I mean, after I pour the watermelon in it, because every one of these are going to be doing that. So. Got to keep them hot so they go back so they gel together good. I don't want to have to touch them up with a little bit of plastic plastic uh, glue. You know, if I didn't, 
If it don't gel good and I don't touch it, t do put a little drop of glue on the side of the, you know, glue glue right where they part. They can come apart on me and my customers ain't gonna like that, so. And I don't like it either. So. Alrighty. Get them all good mixed up here. Flake and, flake and salt and everything. Okay. <clears throat> here we go. There's the first one. Okay. A little stir. A little stir and a shake up there, you know. Salt and glitter and everything up, so. Two of them. Top that person off a little bit. Okay. Don't want too much. Don't want to run it over. It, going over the sides and everything. And yeah, that's a little bit on the warm side to do that. Okay. <clears throat> Yep, as you can see there, I got my coffee here with me again. I drink it all the time. And them Cuban girls would freak out early in the mornings when I would drink so much. If you've ever had it, been down to Miami or a place like that where they sell it, you know, you get a cafe and a little cup like this, and you get a colada, you get about that much. And I'd get there, I'd get to the coffee shop two hours when I cleaned pools two hours before the uh, place where I got my chemicals would open up. So I'm sitting in the coffee shop for two hours drinking coffee. And little cafes and coffee. And then I'm like, oh, mucho cafe, mucho, mucho cafe. They couldn't believe it. Like I drank more Cuban coffee than the Cubans did. Oh, I just a straight up gringo. Well, I'll take that back. I've got a little, uh, I got a little bit of Scottish, a little bit of Irish, and some Cherokee Indian blood in me on, on one side of the family, so I'm not a straight up, a straight up, uh, Americano. <laughs> but yeah, I am. Born and raised here in the United States, and that's where I'll be. <clears throat> you know, I did live in Little Havana when I lived in Florida. <laughs> Yep. Okay. Told me yes, I can speak Spanish. They asked me, "Habla inglés, uh, español?" They'd see, si, "Yo no habla español," and that would crack up laughing. In case you didn't know, I just said, "Do you speak Spanish?" And I said, "Yes, I do." Yo no, and I said, "Yes," and yo no habla español. That no, I don't speak Spanish. So they got a, the girls always got a kick out of that when I would tell them that. Okay, everything's a looking good. Give that a couple more seconds to uh, gel out there, and I'll pull it out and show it to everybody here. Let's see here. Ah, a little on the warm side too. It looks like I got a, a little bug floating around in it again. Time to get it out. Good, good thing I didn't swallow him. A little, like I said the other day, just a little extra, a little extra protein. Even though I don't want it, but that's a little extra protein's all it is. <laughs> all right, sit back up there and keep it nice and warm. Let's see. Okay. All right. I really would leave them in there a little bit longer, but I'm in a hurry. I want to get this order done. And get them out of here. Hmm. Okay. Oh yeah, that looks pretty. That looks very pretty here. So I'll show you here. 
there she be. That's the very first thing. Although, I do see something I don't like. This one didn't squeeze in as good. Oh, let's see if it stays together, shall we? Let's see. That's pull. Oh, that's pulling pretty hard. Oh, yeah. Stuck pretty. It stayed on. Oh, yeah. It stayed on, and that thing's going from five and a quarter to about six inches. <laughs> stayed on pretty good. All righty. Okie dokie. Good job there. And so see, even, you know, and after I let it completely finish gelling up, it'll be even tougher then, so. That's good. Yeah. That is good. Because a bass grabs a hold of a regular Senko and pulls it that much, they break. We know that. Sorry. Mine are not Senkos. Mine are salty bass sticks. Okay, dokie. So, oh, sorry. And there's that one there. And they all come together real pretty. Now, that looks a little bit dark. But if I get closer to the camera there, you can see it's not as dark as it really looks. It's pretty transparent there. It's not a solid, solid, you know. It's a little bit dark, but that's how they like it. So, well, my customers, bass team too, too, so. Okay, well. Y'all have a good afternoon here on the East Coast. It's uh, by, uh, 17 after 5. So if you're on the West Coast, you just start. If you're on the West Coast, you're just starting the afternoon. Good. So everybody have a good day. Going fishing this weekend. Catch a big one. If it's on mine, let me know. Give me a thumbs up. Get them subscribers in. Like I said, give me up to 50. I'll do a giveaway. All right? All right. Y'all have a good one. We'll talk to y'all later. Bye-bye.